In this video, we will discuss two ugly truths of the OPOL method, the one person, one language strategy, probably the most popular language learning approach used by international and multilingual parents, starting right now. One of the challenges of the OPOL method for many multilingual parents is the need for consistent use to achieve its effectiveness. As multilingual parents, we want to use our complete language repertoire even when with our children. However, inconsistency can make this language learning approach less effective and in some cases it may not work at all, resulting in the child not acquiring the target language. So, my husband and I have committed ourselves to strictly and religiously stick to the OPOL method and it works. Nu kunne han sikkert få rammen på den dumme kæmpe. Han lod som om han sov. Hvordan, hvordan lavede man som om man sov? Sådan her. Nu ved du godt, at jeg ikke sov. Ah, sådan der, sådan der. Og da han endelig kunne høre rymer snorke højlydt, stod Thor op og svingede sin hammer. Møllner af alle kræfter. Hvordan svinger man sin hammer? Sådan der. Han knaldede den i hovedet på Srymer, så hårdt han kunne. Det gav et brag så stort, at det kunne høres over hele skoven. Er vel lige en lille ske, siger du? Nu er der jo i jobbi. Jo, i stedet det er der. Det er en kuette, en nave spatial. Vi er så mange forskere. Ja? Vi har fået det som avion. Lindo. Det er som avion, mira. Mira, jeg kan åbne de to døre. Así, así. Oh, se salen. Sí, y puedo también eh, ponerles otra vez y después uh -huh. también con esto. Ups. Y yo tengo así uno. Deja ver qué hiciste tú también. Está hermoso esto. Bien. Mira, yo hice... Mira, también puedo abrir este. Bien. Uh -huh. Entonces abres estos dos. No. Uh, ahí está alguien escondido. Entonces puede este salir. Zwei kleine Wölfe gehen es nachts zum Dunkeln. Man hört die eine zum anderen munkeln. Warum gehen die denn immer nur ins Nachts herum? Dann tritt sich ja die Wurzeln, ja die Pfote krumm. Wenn es noch so heller wird. Wenn nur der Wald mit Schnee und es beleuchtet wird. Badum, 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 badum. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But there are studies that show that although the Opal method can work well in many, many cases, it can also be tricky sometimes, mostly for the poor parent that has the hard job of maintaining a minority language. So the second ugly truth of the Opal method is that even though a parent might stick to the target language religiously and be very consistent, it might still not be enough to help a child become active in that language. I know, it's horrible, but it's true. The reason is that more support is needed in addition to very hard efforts from the parent side. But don't get your hopes down because it is possible. With the right supplements and the right strategies, children can learn multiple languages successfully and simultaneously without struggles. And I show you all of that in my courses, where I take you by the hand and go step by step through the content and stand by your side so you can ask questions whenever they arise. Go to www.multilingual.family slash courses. Well, now that we know what's hard about the Opal method, how can we get our hopes up and be reassured that it'll work for us anyway? Let's look into it. The Opal method, the one person, one language method, is an approach to raise bilingual or multilingual children. The basic idea behind the Opal method is that each parent speaks a different language to the child. So the child is exposed to two or more languages from an early age. The following key points are the ones you need to keep in mind to make it work for you. So here we go. 
Consistency. We talked already about this one. In the OPOL method, it's important to be consistent with the language used. Each parent should stick to their design language and this should be maintained consistently over time. This will help the child develop strong language skills in those languages. But again, only if this is done consistently and over a long period of time. The method can be combined. The OPOL method can be adapted to fit different family situations. Yay! And this is the case for more and more people nowadays. Because of globalization, we have more than one language that we want to pass on to our children. So, for example, if a family has a third language that they speak at home, they could use, in addition, the OSOL approach. In my courses, you can learn all about effectively combining language learning methods. So, go check it out. Provide additional language exposure. While the OPOL method can be effective in helping children to develop strong language skills, it's also important to provide additional language exposure. This can include reading books in both languages, watching TV shows or movies in both languages, and enrolling the child in language classes or immersive programs, for example. If possible, expose the child to the language equally. And I know this is almost impossible and it's really hard to do it. Both or more languages are at the same level. They will never be really exposed at the same level, but it is important that they that none of them becomes too dominant because otherwise uh, it's going to be even harder to keep up with the minority languages. Well, one parent may speak one language more often, both languages should be used and encouraged equally, if possible. That, that's the ideal situation, right? And if that's not possible, then you need to find supplements to support the one parent that has the least contact to the child during a week, for example. This helps the child develop balance proficiency in both languages. The child will mix languages. Yes, it's common for children raised with the OPOL method to mix languages when they first start speaking and also later. For example, they may use one language for one sentence and then switch to the other language or sometimes even mix in, in a same sentence or within the same word sometimes. This is a very normal part of language development and it typically resolves as the child becomes more proficient in both languages. So there's nothing to worry about when you hear your child mixing languages. So, since your children are going to mix languages quite often, this video here will show you how to deal with that. So, see you there!